Hello, everybody! This is the OB2 coming at you with my first impressions for a love stage. Now, I couldn't tell if I'd even finish this episode or if I'd even go past the first episode after watching it, but I'm going to give it a couple more episodes chance. This series seems like it's going to be a BL series. If you do not know what that stands for, that stands for Boy Love. Or for you idiots, I want to get more hardcore, Yowie. Now, this series is about this guy, and he's, he seems to be this, you know, he did this, um, basically his all, whole family is in the entertainment business. His mother, his father, and his older brother. Now, he did this, basically, uh, ad called Love Wedding ten years ago, and accidentally had to be a stand-in for a girl character. And his whole family wants him to get into, uh, basically get into, uh, you know, theater or, or basically enter the entertainment business. But this guy doesn't want to. His dream is to be a manga artist. He is an otaku. So he is hardcore. And so this seems like it's going to be about an otaku guy who's being forced to... And in the episode, basically, they want to do a 10 years after version of the ad where he has to play a girl again with the guy who, who was the little boy that he was with in the old movie, the old commercial where they caught the bouquet. So they caught the bouquet in the old commercial, and they want these two characters to be all grown up, having their own wedding ten years later. So, he ends up having to stand in as a girl again, and only a select few people know he's actually a boy, and of course they go through the whole fucking wedding shit with him nervous as fucking hell, and unwittingly there is a kiss scene in it that he did not know about that was like pulled in last second and it accidentally goes through and the episode ends. So this is going to be a very interesting, looks like it's going to be an interesting series, interesting BL, not as hardcore as some are, but it looks like, um, because this other guy does not know he's a guy. He grew up his whole life thinking that the person he's always looking at is a little girl. So we have that aspect in it. So I'm curious, just the way it ended, I was too curious to say, okay, this is not my taste. I'm going to drop it here. So I'm going to check out at least one more episode to see what happens after this. Who knows? It could not be a BL series, but the way it looks, I think it's going to be a BL series. So I'm really looking forward to checking out more series stuff, see what's going to happen. I'm just curious. It's... Not going to be one of my top series, but I'm curious enough at this point to watch more. But that's all I can think of for a series. It was not very much went on. It's the fact that we're setting up who the characters are, what the scenario is, and what's kind of kind of possibly could happen in the future. That's all they pretty much did. So I'm really looking forward to possibly just watching at least episode two to see what happens and see what direction the series takes. And is it going to go hardcore BL? Is it going to be like her co uh, trap comedy? What is it going to be? So I'm just, if you don't know, trap is a character who looks like a girl, but or who looks like one gender, but actually is the other. Like Haku from Naruto. Yes, he looked like a girl, but he was a boy. So is this going to be a series revolving around the trap aspect? Is this going to go to the BL? I just want to see what's going to happen within the next couple episodes before I decide what to do with the rest of the series. Thus, this is the old boy 82 saying, if you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. This is the old boy 82 signing out.